It is a dire state whose aftermath has been informed by the inhumane demolition last Monday morning. Victims of the demolitions have been rendered homeless, spending their nights in the cold in these makeshift structures. Families here have been forced to live without the basics like food and water. For those who have managed to secure something small to bite, are facing another tussle from families from the surrounding slum. <laughs> Scrambling for the little they can get is the order of the day here. Bearing in mind, the hygiene at this forsaken land is deplorable. Joyce Ngondu is a widow but lives with her family of more than 15 here. One packet of flour has to feed all these hungry humans, plus the neighbors who noticed a smoke and turned up for a share of the meal. Tunalalanga hapa, baridi, chakula, nishida. Kila kitu nishida. Hata kijanangu nikona ea hapa likuwa, ya lisoma haka Afrika Form 4. Haka pass. Haka itoshule, sikuwa na uwezo. Sasa likuwa nga nafanyanga kazi ya kukota garbage collector kwa hiki jiji. Ndiyo apate kitu kidogo, ajisome shekos. Sasa vile kumebomolewa, nimeshindo ndafanya nini. Sasa tumekatu hivi, tumechanganyikiwa, tuna uwezo. Sasa na wasi wasi. Kwa sababu pia uko na watoto, wasichana, uwezi jua kama munaeza kukuvamiwa. Tuza kujifunika, tunajifunika, sinuona venye kuko. Baridi ni mingi na umbu. Next to Joy's place, this granny has been here homeless since Monday without food or anything, after her house was brought down by heartless individuals. She keeps on tying her belt to overcome the hunger since Monday. Imagine. The CS interior Dr. Fred Matiangi has today said he was not aware of the ongoing demolition, saying he only learned about it by yesterday. So we will deal with the issue of Kariobangi. I will uh, ask the RC and the team to look into that matter and, and understand and figure out how we are going to help the Wananchi who are involved in that matter because some of them, to be fair, actually, are innocent. Uh, people who have been misled by you know by land grabbers and by criminals in our midst. This comes as the Nairobi governor Mike Sonko ferried about 5,000 families whose houses were demolished to his Upper Hill offices for food and other donations. As you can see, these are frustrated families, more than 4,000 of them. Uh, this is a time when all Kenyans need to come together. Let's first battle this pandemic. As you have seen even today, the cases have increased. Now we have new 47 cases uh, in the country, and the numbers are really increasing. So this kind of uh, behavior is exposing more Kenyans to, to, to the virus. Lenox Sangre, K24 TV.